Right, and so it's a very exciting project ahead of us. But before we start, um, just a quick disclaimer, if you're not um, familiar with working with electricity or soldering iron, anything like that, make sure you seek some professional advice. Um, and basically beyond this point, you are responsible for your actions. So let's have a look at the project. So what we're actually going to need for this project, well we're going to need some acrylic sheets, mine are 5 millimeters thick. Then we're going to need some LED lights, um, I've actually bought a set plug and play so you don't have to mess around with it too much and they're dead cheap anyway. Obviously you're going to need a bit of soldering skills as we need to attach the on and off switch and then obviously nice looking wood. So I'm using a glow up from a different project, I've got some leftovers, uh, it's oak, sapili and some ash in it, I think it looks really nice. The first thing we need to do is cut the boards to the correct sizes and I'm going to use my table saw with the sled to do that. So the dimension of all the pieces are 21 centimeters by 23 centimeters. So to make the triangle shape we need to cut some um, angles on the boards. Basically for all the pieces we're going to go with 30 degrees. So how does it all come together? Well exactly like this. So that one goes on top, that one goes to the side and there we go. Uh, quite an interesting design there. So what we're going to do next, well basically um, before I glue this up I really want to sand it because it would be quite difficult to sand inside. So we're going to sand it, we're going to go through it with a thing. 120 will be just good enough and we're gonna go right up to 180 maybe 240 we'll see how it goes and after that we'll glue this bad boy together and we'll start chopping it into pieces And look at this beautiful glow up. So it came really nice as you can see. Um, I did have um, some gaps on this end. Not sure if you can see it just there. But what I did, I just uh, filled it with some glue and some sawdust from sanding it and it came out quite good. To be fair, this could be a standalone feature on your bedside table, on your desk. You can put your, uh, the book on top of it, um, you know, wherever you finish reading and it will stay like that. Uh, you know, bit of uh, bit of oil on it, and it will look really, really nice. But uh, we're actually gonna create something different with this. We're actually gonna transfer this into a lamp. So, oh, it hurts my heart. But we need to chop this up into smaller pieces. So it all depends what you really want, how wide they're gonna be. Um, so I've still not worked it out. So behind the scenes, I'm gonna work out how wide they're gonna be. Before we go any further, guys, I just want to mention if you're not a subscriber and you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. I do bring new video each week and this video is actually a part of a three video series. So the first one was a bookmark and a thumb page holder. I'll link it up above here now. And then next week or week after there will be a video 
um, about a just your normal bookshelf stoppers so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the future video and obviously have a look the one I already made but let's get back to the project now And boom, it's all chopped up into six pieces. So now it's time to make the shapes out of the acrylic sheets to match the, well, triangles. To cut the triangle shapes in the acrylic sheets, I'm actually gonna be using my bandsaw. Uh, just make sure do not go on the lines, just go a bit more. So, um, you know, you're not gonna have less material, less acrylic than you actually need. So it's very important to do that. And you're just gonna, we're gonna sort it out when sanding. We're just gonna put it all flush to the wood and it will look lovely. Right, so the acrylic pieces are now put to the right sizes, but before we continue, I actually want to have a frosted look on these. So basically I'm going to use my sander with grid 80 just to rub uh, and give it a nice um, frosty look on those. So why do I want to do that? Well, basically at the minute it's um, the acrylic is transparent and this is not the look what I'm going for. Um, I'm actually not putting out the middle. I want this to act as a lamp rather than something else. So if I I frost the um, acrylic there it will give it a nice um, shine as well nice warm light um, but it's up to you what you can do you can leave it transparent you can actually cut the middle out and have an empty space inside for for example your watch or, or your glasses or um, I don't know your mobile phone or anything else but my design I'm actually gonna leave them in as they are frosted because I want a lamp that will be a book holder as well. To bond everything together, I will be using two part five minute epoxy, I think. In this situation is the best solution but uh, we'll see how it's gonna go Let's work something heavy on this. So then guys, bit of a failure here on my part, unfortunately. Um, I did not notice or really didn't expect that um, one part of the whole construction actually shifted when, um, when I've glued it up. And as you can imagine, there's a lot and a lot of sanding to do to make sure it's actually straight and, uh, well, it's going to look all right. So probably going to take me about three hours of sanding. So one simple mistake and so much more work added to the project. So going forward, guys, if you're going to be approaching this project, definitely use some fasteners. I would, I don't know, use a brad nail or something like that or a small screw or something just to secure it so it doesn't move. But you don't even have to use epoxy to be fair, you can use a large bolt and you know just screw all the pieces together, you can do it like that as well and it will look quite cool. Um, obviously I went with epoxy and this is the failure I made with it, so learn from my mistake, make sure your pieces are nice and straight and square, because if you don't, you're going to be in my position that I am now with you know four or five hours of sanding as you know 
I'm uh, sure that I really like doing. <laughs> so I'll see you in a few seconds when all the sanding is done. So it took me about four hours of sanding in total, but the results are quite good, quite promising. So this is how it looks like at this very moment. Um, it's quite cool, nice and smooth. Uh, to be fair, obviously I had to go through all the grids again. So uh, the last grid was 400. So what's the next step here, guys? Well, basically we need to um, route out the space for all the LED lights and all the you know wires and everything. Um, so we'll do that in a moment. But before we do that, I'm actually going to make from um, a piece of ply with a finger. But I think I've got a three mil ply. Um, it will be a base that will cover up um, basically all the wires and everything and I'll paint it, I'll spray it in black and hopefully we'll give this nice floating feel uh, to the whole triangle. So we're going to make the base first and then we'll route out the rest. So let's get to it. So to take the bulk of the material off, I'm going to be using a spiral bit uh, like this one and obviously my uh, palm router. So as it turns out, the spiral bit wasn't a great idea. Um, I had a lot of burn marks, so I swapped to this bit. And then I had no issues whatsoever. So these are the channels that I've done so far. And the next thing we need to do is actually cut some slots for power cable and a switch. I've cut the LED strips to the correct sizes. So as you can see, I connected all the LED strips. Now we're gonna um, turn them around upside down so they're actually facing towards the acrylic. I'm gonna be using my hot glue gun, as you can see, to attach it to the base. And we're gonna connect it to the power source and the on and off switch. And now it's time to attach the base. Uh, obviously I'm going to use some screws to attach it because um, if anything goes wrong in the future with the LEDs or anything like that, I will have access to actually, uh, you know, sort out the issue. Okay, so the main construction and the build is finally finished. So obviously it's already been sanded. We've put the base on, we've put the LEDs. As you can see, we've got the on-off switch here, the power insert here. So it's time to actually apply some finish on this bad boy. And what we're gonna be using, I'm gonna be using two coats of shellac. When that dries, obviously a bit of sanding in between coats, I would go with a grid 300 for this project. And as the base finish, we're gonna be using some brie wax. Um, I would imagine probably two coats of that and we'll buff it to a nice um, satin sheen. So let's get to it now.
And now let's buff it out. And the very last thing here guys, we're just gonna put some padded feet onto it so we don't scratch our furniture. But the big question is, does it actually work? Well, let's plug it in and see. Perfect. Oh, the on and off switch works as well. Bonus. <laughs> There you go guys, an absolutely awesome project and I had a blast doing it despite a few hiccups here and there. I think it looks absolutely amazing and it's a perfect addition to any bedside table or any office in that matter. And um, you know, you don't have to put books on it, it just could be a night lamp. It just looks so cool. I am so happy with how this actually turned out. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching, thank you for your time, if you enjoyed this video leave me that like button down below, drop me a comment as well if you've got any questions, and hopefully I will see you next week on my next video and my next project. Till then, take care. How awesome is this? It looks absolutely amazing.